Anything that your soul is connected to is a soul tie. Now, what is the soul? Your soul is your mind, meaning your innermost thoughts. It's your will, meaning your deepest desires. And it is your emotions or your personality as well. So four things that the soul is really composed of. Your innermost thoughts, your desires, your emotions, your personality. If you are tied in any of those categories to something, it is a soul tie. So you can have godly or ungodly soul ties. But I want to speak specifically on having a soul tie with another person and an ungodly soul tie and how to break off these ungodly soul ties that you no longer want to be tied to. I'm going to show you the scripture where we get the doctrine of soul ties. And I also want to expose a lot of lies around this topic because in the space of soul ties, we are not giving power to the devil. We are giving power to the anointing of God and the faith that takes just to break something off. It doesn't take a lot of faith. Faith the size of a mustard seed can separate you from any ungodly soul tie and, and connect you to the Father in the way that you desire to be connected to the Father. Because he who is joined to the Lord is one spirit with him. And I know that's your desire to be joined to the Lord. 1 Corinthians 6, 15. This is where we get the doctrine of soul ties. It says, Do you not know that your members or your bodies are members of Christ? Shall I then take the members of Christ and make them members of a harlot? Certainly not. Or do you not know that he who is joined to a harlot is one body with her? For the two, he says, shall become one flesh. But he who is joined to the Lord is one spirit with him. So this word joined, it's like a gluing together. It's like when you take one piece of yarn and another piece of yarn and you start to knit that yarn together, you get one blanket from two pieces of yarn. You glue together two pieces of wood, you get one piece of wood. It's this gluing or this knitting together. And here, this is so powerful on a sexual level because when you have sex with someone, you become joined on a physical level, on a soulish level, and on a spiritual level. The two become one flesh, but he who is joined to the Lord is one spirit with him. So we want to be joined. We want to be knit together with the spirit of the Lord because where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. There is freedom in the presence of God. There's nothing like being in the presence of God. So we desire to break off these ungodly soul ties. You can't worship something other than God. In order to be tied and joined and knit to the Lord, you can't have an idol of the soul. This is the first and the greatest commandment. The Lord says in Exodus, you can have no other gods before me. I, the Lord, your God, I alone am he, right? You shall worship no other. So God hates idols because an idol is anything that you put above God. Again, an idol can be anything. It could be a relationship or anything, a business, a desire even that hasn't even happened yet, but it's just a desire in your heart that you may place above your personal relationship with God. This is a idol. So in order to break off a soul tie, you must have no idols in your heart. And then if, if that condition is met, what truly breaks off this soul tie? Let me tell you two simple things. I'm not going to complicate it for you. 
two simple things to break every ungodly soul tie off of your soul right now in the mighty name of Jesus. The first is faith. You must believe. Whenever Jesus did a healing or a miracle, he asked them, do you believe? Do you believe? And then after he did healings and miracles, a lot of them, he says, your faith has made you well. Daughter, go in peace. He says, your faith has healed you. Faith was a key ingredient to a healing. Likewise, faith is a key ingredient to break off a soul tie. So number one is faith. And number two is the spirit of the Lord. It is the anointing or the spirit of God that breaks off and shatters these soul ties in the name of Jesus. So if you desire now having this information, if you desire for a soul tie to be broken off of you, I know this video is for someone, you can, you can pray this prayer. Lord Jesus, break off every ungodly soul tie in the name of Jesus. Separate my soul from their soul and sever every tie of the devil that I have made in my own ability apart from your will. Uh, Re-establish me in your will, God, and lead me, God, to be joined with your spirit and your spirit alone. In Jesus' name, I believe it is done and it is finished. In Jesus' name, by the blood of Jesus. Hallelujah. It's the blood of Jesus on the cross that restores us back to the Father, that restores our relationship, that uh, just washes us white of our sin and brings us back into true connection with God. So it's faith, the blood of Jesus, and the Holy Spirit that break off every ungodly yoke or tie or bondage of the devil. So if you prayed that prayer, you know that that soul tie is severed. You are the Lord's now. It is your faith. Now to keep your deliverance, you can't go back sleeping around, right? You can't go back. The word says flee sexual immorality. Every sin that a man does is outside the body, but he who commits sexual immorality sins against his own body. Or do you not know that your body is a temple of the Holy Spirit who is in you, whom you have from God, and you are not your own, for you were bought at a price. Therefore, glorify God in your body and in your spirit, which are God's. So you must continue to live a life of holiness, of righteousness. We see in the Gospels, that after deliverance happens, if you go back to that sin, these demons can come back seven times as strong. You need true repentance. You can't just pray a prayer and then go out and start sleeping with the world again. There has to be true repentance to sever off these soul ties and restore that true connection with God. Amen. God bless you. I pray that this video blessed you and I will see you very soon. Bye-bye.